are back at the DDE HQ, you guys. What's up? Welcome back to another episode, and we are continuing the Huracan Super Trofeo Evo Tire Slayer 6.0 build. I know the names here just keep getting longer and longer for our build. So John has already arrived. Right there he is. There's the man, the myth, the legend. How you doing? Good. So I hear we're doing a hardware store trip today. Is that what we're doing? We gotta go get some welding gas too, argon. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. argon, yeah. I left the bottle cracked open last night and it all leaked out. <laughs> happened. Well, we know what we could do is we could take my pristine, super trusty Carrera Van GT. This thing is so mint. I don't like to put miles on it, but you know what? Just for you, I think we'll take it up. What are you laughing you at? Go. Why are you laughing when I said super mint and Brand not new. a scrap? Right, let's give them a little review update. So the checklist for today is John wants to get the whole front end loosely fitted for the first test fit. What's cool is by the end of this video, you're gonna get a good visual of actually what it'll look like as an, a complete car on some level. So he's gonna have to start again, just like the back with the diffuser, the front splitter, bolt that all securely because just like the rear, you were saying this bolts to this splitter. This actually holds the front bumper up. That's the main support. It's the main Main support. Yeah. Okay. This thing, uh, when it's bolted on right, you'll be able to stand right here. Like, really? Yeah. When it's on the car, I stand on mine. Yeah, but your, yours is also made out of carbon fiber. This it's one's pretty buff. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, oh, it's so. making me really yeah, nervous. It's, yeah, but, yeah. I don't know if we want to stand on it, John. I'm only like 90 pounds. So. You bought, by the way, your kit is like the real Super Trofeo race car body parts. I cheaped out because I don't have as much money as you, but at the end of the day, we just wrap it and paint it. It's the same thing. It's the same angles and all that, because this is made right from an original oh, Super Trofeo Evo. Close. The quality is pretty good. Don't yeah, because race car parts are pretty sh they. Yeah, but this is... <laughs> It's, it's, they are. It's dead on. They're like beat up. So it's dead on, John says. So that's good. Thumbs up to you. Everything goes up. Five stars for sure. Five stars. Oh. Woo! From the pro. It's actually made in Belgium and came with Belgian chocolates. We still have the whole back end. Look at the size of this wing. Now I have a question for you guys and didn't think I was gonna get into it this early, but do we keep the wing on or do we go wingless? Because remember when I showed you guys this kit a couple of years ago when I was talking about doing it? I did a render and the render had no wing. It was just basically like the fin and the roof scoop and then this really cool like duckbill lip. But I like the wing. I think it has to get the wing. The wing's super aggressive. And after we've had it on for a while, if we get really bored, we do wing delete. That's not hard to do. Or, or you what? tie this in down here and you make it like a center where it's <laughs> oh, the Santa GTR. That'd be pretty sweet. That'd be crazy. All right. So what are we doing? Off to the hardware store? We're going to go get welding gas. Then we got to go to Ace Hardware and get nuts and bolts. Let's go get some nuts. Go along with my small dick. Small man with a small dick. Oh, we've got the carbon-tastic steering wheel. We might need a Super Trofeo Evo Curvan GT kit. Cool. Wing on the back? Yeah. Doesn't know how that wing would be if you used the exact same goose neck wing off the back of it. Crashing troll. Awesome. Hold on, let me get my belt. <laughs> Let's go to the ace in the hole. Oh. Get my hands on some nuts. What are we getting? We get these bags and we gotta find our bolts. Like yeah. Emmy, one, How many one pieces one. do you need? For now, 200 bolts. 200, <laughs> that's a good start. It's like 200 pieces, that's nuts, bolts, little nuts, little bolts, washers, walking washers. I right. memorized most of it. That's Emmy, good, because I noticed you didn't Emmy, have a list. 125. Hold the hog. This is a Lamborghini, we don't need Euro screws. Well, is that about 200? How many? <laughs> How many did you need, John? You pulled the whole thing. I pulled the whole thing out. <laughs> oh man. I highly advise you don't throw all the bolts on the ground just to fine tune next time. Or maybe we ask for help. I thought they were gonna kick us out. <laughs> oh, well you didn't do it on purpose. I also need to point out, this dude's got a different Rolex on today. Every day, every day he's had a different Rolex on. Hey man, it's kind of wild. What watch will we have on in the next episode? Stay tuned. Smash that subscribe button. I'm interested. I am actually interested too. <laughs> Let's see how many we can get going here. All right, I'll give you guys an update. He's looking for 200 nuts and bolts. Could be a minute. Hey, man, too soon. It's too what? soon. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Too soon. <laughs> All right, two hours later. It was light out when we got here. It's almost my bedtime, John. What are we doing? Like, holy crap. That was not a quick process. Like, I'm not gonna lie. You're quicker at putting the car together than you are at picking out nuts at the <laughs> hardware store. Marsha, quite the torpedo there. Oh yeah, dude, bet you're jealous. I am. It's pretty big, buddy. All right, let's let the game begin. Let's mount this thing. 
Oh, that thing is pretty sturdy. It's a lot heavier than I thought. Holy crap. Mark. Yes. He didn't say stand in the middle of it. He said you can stand on the front of it when it's mounted, which I still advise not a good idea. You walk right in the center. What are you thinking? What? Yeah. What are you thinking? I'm ready, what are we doing? We're putting the front end on of this thing or what? Safety first, guys. We got Safety uh, first. I just removed the foot capacitor. This obviously, we've said several times, doesn't just bolt on. However, not only does it not just bolt on, it also needs modifications to the car and things move all over the place in order for it to actually fit. Call it the negative side of all of these panels are a different shape. So for example, does anybody know what this is right here? Yes, you're right. It is the flux capacitor. No, it's actually the lift. This is a little compressor that makes this lift system right here on the top of the suspension. That's what makes this have the ability to go up and down. And so in order to make the hood fit, because if you actually look at the hood. Okay, hold on, let me find the hood first of all. Where's the f***ing hood? Way back here. If you look at the hood. Okay, hold on. Which hood? Where's the hood? No. That's a socket. Where is it? It's in the back. It's in the back. Mark, are you allowed to even be out here without any safety gear on? I don't know. Do I, I don't think it? so. There's the hood. Okay, look. The hood's not flat underneath. We're not going to cut any of this down, so we have to actually remove the compressor because it, it gets hit by this. It's uh, obstructing it from going on. So there's so many pieces, as I was trying to explain, the underside of all these panels conflict with certain pieces of the streetcar. So there's so many things that need to be moved and redone, just like on the opposite side, John went and removed a bar that actually holds the fuel filler cap in a certain position. So now it has <clears throat> some flexibility to move around. There were other pieces under here he had to remove. He had to remove obviously the air box as well as the mufflers and everything. And then afterwards it gets custom other pieces for the air box and all that put on. All right, safety first. What? You need some protection, man. Ah, you're young. You definitely need some protection. <laughs> you gotta catch something. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Yeah, you don't need that anymore, do you? Well, so we take this off. Let's take it off. What's with the hook? Just watch you make that. It's kind of crazy. You pulled out the bolt cutters and everything. It's so interesting. What is that for? Hang on. Is that the new tow hook? Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? So Dave could pull the car like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dave? So you're saying this actually, you create two of these and it holds on yeah. to the diffuser right there? Oh. There. Pull onto to that. Bam. Right there. Holds it up. The more you know, in case you're gonna run out tomorrow and put a Super Trofeo Evo kit on your Huracan. I told you he knew what he was doing. It's super easy looking. <laughs> super easy. It's super easy. Ah. The noise helps. Whoa. Where did I learn how to do this? YouTube. Really? You watch YouTube videos to learn how to put all this together? <laughs> no? Some stuff. But there was a lot of those uh, know-it-all kind of guys. I met a few of them the other day in my SVJ. Ha ha ha! Little table. It goes under the washers. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I got you, bro. I got you. If there's one thing I can do during this build, it's be the janitor. This thing's actually not that light. So this is the initial thing that's going to attach this front splitter to the car. It's cool to watch this all go down, Mike. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of fabrication. He physically has to make every single contact point, every single nut and bolt that attaches each panel to this car. Again, has to have a fabricated bracket. Crazy. We got this, look at this, coming up. Pretty cool, man. That's freaking cool. Mark! Come check this out, front splitter. Oh, 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 hey, that's pretty cool. It's gonna be super wide. <laughs> Dude, the front splitter sticks out a little bit further than the wheel. Oh, what are you doing with that? Yeah, he's always got a saw in his hand. Don't want the wheel. <laughs> she starts cutting the wheel. Right, cut this. Cutting the rubber. <laughs> this thing goes way back behind the wheel there. It's crazy how that cuts like that butter. was really sick. Actually. Like butter, dude. Holy. <laughs> Like butter. The other one was more like butter. Like but like slicing through milk. Huh. Through milk? When was the last time you took a knife to milk, Mark? The audience wants to know. When was the last time you cooked a meal? <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> What's he doing now, man? Whoop. So you throw this on and then line it all up so you can actually line this up. 
Oh, it's a front end. That's cool. It's crazy, man. Wow. I am not very helpful right now, but me neither. How many times do you guesstimate you will put this kit on and off to get it all done? 20 times, I think. 20. 20 times. On, off, on, off, on, off, 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 on. Hopefully less. Hopefully less. Oh, sure. 50%. 10 times. That's pretty damn wide. Bite. That's a lot wider. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not being held all the way in, but look at that. Wow. Getting a wheel wall in there? Oh. It's pretty oh, cool. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool, huh? Pull in the hood. Right? Or like we're a fender away. In our wheel liner and a fender, what would look like a completed car. On a roof scoop. We need a roof scoop. And a, we, got, we got a few more pieces. I'm a little short. Half on. hour? I'm a little I'm short. short. I'm a little short on pieces. Half hour, car's done. Take it for a drive. We don't even need the rubber. Ken Block did it. Right? The magnesium. How long does it take until they catch on fire? Hey, John, if we did a burnout on the magnesium, we asked how long until they catch on fire. Could you imagine the spark? Small. That'd be crazy, yes. Got to notch up. Then their wheel liner. So freaking huge. Look at this. It kind of just makes the whole build though, doesn't it? Love it. That's just kind of propped on here for now. It's not fully bolted down. However, it is bolted to the chassis. You put the, that side on. I put this side on. These four bolts, I'm very proud of these four bolts. This is all me right here. The way that this is designed like that on the inside, the winglet. Very, very cool. This is all factory OEM, this piece the uprights. So is that considered what, a, a reverse swan neck or something? I don't know, reverse goose neck, a goosey swan oh, neck. I really don't know. That's just freaking cool is what it is. Look at that. A backwards, a backwards beak. Wing. The backwards beak wing. I like it. There's an incredible amount of brackets that he has to like loosen and just kind of remove to get all the new stuff to work. You now it's like two pieces. There you go. Gotcha. Like so, for the hood pins. These bad boys. Oh, that's pretty cool. Then bad boy is like nothing. That's just aluminum. Pop those on and then we have the... I say we, but I've really done nothing. We're gonna have the hood on here in a sec and then you're gonna get a good visual of what the front end looks like. He's got the front splitter on, front bumper on, inner wheel liners on on both sides, like in the wheel wells. And then he's got both fenders currently just held on. We'll get these hood pins in and then we'll do the big reveal, you guys, of what the front Super Trafail Evo Looks like it's looking amazing to me. I can't even believe this, it's sick. We're gonna have it so that that's not gonna be covered up. It's gonna be functional. That's the word, functional. Functional. Air will flow through here. That will not be a phone charger. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. Oh, -ho! we still gotta move the compressor out of the way. So it's obviously the, the hood's not gonna fit perfectly in there quite yet, but you guys are gonna get the idea. It looks crazy, holy. Okay, I gotta show you guys. This thing is so wide. Bam! Super Trofeo Evo in the house! Lamborghini! Look how wide that thing is. Hey? Holy crap. All right, time for the montage. I'm honestly speechless. You're killing it, man. Killing it. You taking selfies with this thing or what? Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate you. This guy's gonna be here rocking it out, making all those little brackets. Yeah. Because like you have to like Think lines. fix all this. Heal this. Because your car really had the best, like out of all the cars I'd seen that had any Super Trofeo or Evo kit, the lines were like, the gap was perfect. It was like about a quarter, like if you held a quarter on the side, it's insane. It's really impressive how much time he spent making sure that like the gaps of the panels was so perfect. See my quarter panel gap? There we go. Look at that. That's really impressive, man. It's a lot better than mine currently. 
Oh, that's nuts. That's a labor of love right there, my friend. Here we go. The test fitting stage is over and our boy is on the move and he's gonna take all the panels off. And the goal he just finished telling me is the bottom here, uh, this diffuser needs to be fully mounted to the car so that it's gonna withhold all the other weight of the panels on top of it. So you got to see it on. This is the part where it goes on, it comes off, and it goes on, it comes off. We got the argon. Argon, argon, argon. So what are you welding? The DD bracket. The DD, the bracket to begin. Bracket. All right. I want to drive like this, John, with the clamps on. Clamp the whole car down. Take it for a rip. What's the worst that could happen? What are you trimming? Front splitter? Yeah. Front gotcha. Splitter. Front splitter. I'll get on the floor here. I'm going to get into the action. Hey, just for you guys. Let me get in here. Oh, I see. So you make it all functional, right? So the air will go through the radiator and you'll create a piece that it actually comes up and scoops it up through the hood, yeah. like through this piece. I like where this is going. We make the front end functional. We also make the roof scoop functional with a supercharger. Damn, a one of one, because none of the other cars had that functional. And then we got to talk about wheels. What do you guys want to do for wheels? Tell me in the comment section below what style of wheel you think we should go with. You know, I don't know. Should we do like race style wheels, this BBS style, something like that? Or do we do something kind of like the 720 GTR? Some more like that. I have pretty much unlimited options. We will make sure we go and see our crew at AL13 for this special project. Tire Slayer 6.0, again, also needs a livery of some kind. So do I bring back the old OG orange and gray metallic, basically the same livery as that, but in the neon orange, like what's on the SVJ. Tell me in the comments below, maybe I'll do like a, a poll for you guys in the community tab in between this video and the next video. Because the voting thing is quite handy. We get typically on average 150,000 to 200,000 people of you guys voting. So thank you very much for doing that because your participation does give us a good indicator of like what direction everybody wants to see the builds go in. We're all in this together. So this is coming along though really nicely. I get really excited when I can like see and visualize the project come together like this. Look at this. It's so sick. We're a wrap for tonight. Dude, you are a freaking machine. This guy doesn't stop. Look at this. I'm just here for emotional support. It's uh, late. Almost one. He's moved a whole bunch of little things, which I was showing some stuff and some stuff was in that like time lapse. But the best part is, look at this. The supports for the front splitter, all done, bolted underneath. Like this is solid. Moving the radiator mounts, all that stuff. You have to modify all of this and move all this up so that this whole unit comes up about, you said what, about an inch? Yeah. So it clears everything. This is the thing when you do these like custom wide bodies or body kits or whatever that really aren't meant to be on a certain car, but you can make them fit. It's really comes down to like relocating, cutting, making things fit. It's very time consuming. It's truly an art, man. Like it is an art. I've gotten to watch John. I've gotten the privilege to watch a bunch of people who've worked on my cars. And I saw a little bit just in the videos, even back to like when Aaron Kaufman was making the twin turbo F12, he relocated so many of the OEM thing. So when you lift up the hood of the twin turbo F12, it looks very OEM in a lot of ways. All the parts of that car, for the most part, still functioned as Ferrari intended them to in combination with a one-off top mount twin turbo kit. It's very crazy how the guys like this think. It's just not how I think. It's wild. So it's fun to sit here and watch them. I'm more like moral support while also being the media guy and I get to be the commentary and all that. Excited for this build. It's coming along quite nicely. So thanks again for watching. I love you guys. Thank you for all your support. I'm so stoked you guys are pumped for this build. And don't worry, we have a huge update also coming on the fate of the 720 GTR. Stay tuned for that. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh.